Now, sarcastic art reviews posted beside graffiti in Dublin has caused quite a stir in social media. It's been revealed to be a scheme being tried out by the City Council and designed to raise public awareness about vandalism. Blue and white acrylic on concrete circa 2012. The artist has twisted the idea of queuing almost beyond recognition and in doing so has clearly displayed their ability to make up whole new words that mean nothing to anyone. Cost? €350,000 of taxpayers' money. This is the brainchild of an advertising creative team working for Dublin City Council. Gallery art is a very high price. Similarly enough, to, to remove the graffiti from the streets of Dublin is, is a very high price. So that's where the parallel came from. And then we wanted to sort of turn the idea of gallery art and how it's described in the flowery language and use it with graffiti, sort of turning, the, turning it on its head and ridiculing it. The council, who would prefer to spend the money on essential services, are trying out the idea as part of a new public awareness campaign. We're overwhelmed with the response on social media. It's been really, really positive and people have expressed you know, views that it is an eyesore and very, very costly to the taxpayer. The local authority does encourage street art, like this work in progress for Culture Night on Francis Street in conjunction with Zosimus Art Gallery. Tomorrow night there will be a demonstration by an artist called Fink. He has already started the piece and he will finish it off tomorrow night where he wants to show kids what he can do, what, what street art can do to get away from vandalism and to turn their spray cans into art. It's the unsightly graffiti or tags that are regarded as a problem and have to be regularly cleaned away. John Corain, RT News, Dublin.